Hello, everyone. I'm excited for another episode of uh, Plug Into Devon, and we've got Joel McKay-Smith with us today. Joel is the co-founder of Accelerant Business, Accelerant Business Solutions Provider. He is a champion of rural business development, and he grew up on a farm in what is now Silicon Slopes. Joel, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Devin. Appreciate well, we're, it. We're thrilled to have you and grateful that you'd make time. You're working on something really pretty exciting right now. Uh, tell us about this project you're hiring for right now. Certainly. Um, there's a tremendous need to be able to accommodate the questions that um, small business owners have with the um, SBA distress um, loans as well as grants and everything else. So we are approached by a long-term partner, Plus One Company, um, out of Southern Utah, um, about the ability to find, train, vet very quickly a very large block of uh, people, um, over 200, um, to be able to um, help with the assistance with the Small Business Administration um, and to um, be able to kind of make it a little bit calmer, so to speak, for these uh, businesses that are understandably so um, a little bit distressed. Well, it is a scary, scary time uh, for for everyone. Everyone is affected by the economics of this tragedy, some more than others. Uh, everyone is impacted, uh, some devastatingly so. And, and those mostly are those who have lost their jobs and have been struggling kind of paycheck to paycheck. And that's happening uh, throughout the state. Uh, tell us about what's, what the job requirements are. What kind of skills, et cetera, do people need to be effective in this work? Um, obviously, if they've worked with a computer and a phone, which is most of them um, are um, folks that are working in the buildings and silicon slopes in downtown, and uh, they have the ability to listen empathetically and then be able to um, um, repeat back information that's going to help these small businesses understand where they need to go. The, the end result is to be able to get them into the website that will assist them with the SBA um, loans and grant programs but to um, answer any of the questions that they may have beforehand. Um, anybody that's worked in a call center, anybody that's worked in customer success, um, anybody that's worked in hospitality, we're actually having tremendous um, um, feedback right now from bartenders, waitresses, um, and, um, and, and kitchen help that have had experience doing these types of things and they're not working right now. So it, it's, it's really anyone that can, um, with, authority, understand what they're asking, answer it, and be able to um, point them in the direction of being able to get the relief that they need. That's great. Now, uh, can people do this work from Moab, Blanding, Monticello, Price, Helper, Wellington, yep. Heber, everywhere? Yep. Um, in southeastern Utah, as well as the areas where the Rural Online Initiative um, has been um, training many of the, the rural um, residents um, under some um, different legislative, legislative dictates um, are the first places that we went. Um, number one, they um, have excellent fiber in the rural communities. And number two, the ability for them to be able to have the simple setup that we need, a computer, a headset, um, a, um, a monitor, a quiet room is um, something that we find quite easily. We also, of course, have experience working um, extensively in the price area with um, um, a local company, Health Equity, where we've hired over about 250 people over the last three, four years that um, um, all are work from home. And so um, the uh, ability to go rural or to go urban in this case, it really doesn't matter as long as we know that we have someone that's, um, and this sounds horrible, but at this time it may, they are, isn't just looking for a paycheck, but they also meet that profile, that they're an empathetic person who's going to be able to help these small business um, owners um, get the help they need. So uh, Joel, uh, what what do people do to apply? How do they apply? Um, the apply the application process, um, I don't have the URL with me, and I should have before, but it's pretty easy um, to find online. Um, they would simply go to um, the website, and I'll, I'll send this to you for your show notes so that we can have that. And then they would um, 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 find in the frequently asked questions there what's going to be the most applicable for them, because there are two or three things that they might want to do up to $2 million in and to be able to um, 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 apply with what's going to be the most applicable. There's, there in essence, some of them are loans that they're gonna pay off over time. Some of them are outright grants. Um, I'm not as well um, um, in tune with the actual program itself as 
from the people that I've um, taken through the training program. But um, the, the training program um, um, walks them through everything they need to. But think of it as a very similar type of experience um, with what um, the, H, um, the, the, the healthcare act, you know, um, the same type of process, but it's actually much smaller. I'm going to find so, out. So if, right over to you. If uh, uh, small business owners are watching this, uh, where, where do they go to learn to get the resources and help you're putting together so that they can actually get their loans and grants? Um, again, that would be the, um, the SBA site. And excuse me for not being prepared to give you that. Um, but for anyone that wants to help us with that, they can go to the accelerantbsp.com um, site, click on the jobs, and it'll take us through for the job seekers. Um, I'm a little bit embarrassed that I didn't do my show. That's all right. Hey, no, no, no problem. We will, we will get the, that information from you and we'll put it on the screen. It's not a problem, Joel. We really appreciate that. Joel, before you go, I want to ask you one question. Uh, what is your superpower? Anticipating the needs that other people have in meeting and relating with another person. I seem to be able to have a knack of being able to put two and two together when they're not necessarily asking for it. So yeah, call it a super connector or whatever else. It's something I've done since I was a kid. And um, it really, really helps out in times where people need to be able to um, help one another right now. That is a great superpower. That is a great super. Well, Joel, thank you very much for taking a few moments to be with us today. Before you go, uh, tell us the links you do want to share that would help people learn more about what you're doing or apply for the job or whatever else. Whatever links you've got handy that you want to share, social media links, whatever else, let us know. Okay. Accelerantbsp.com. So accelerant, like if you're um, um, starting a fire, if you're an arsonist. <laughs> and then BSP is for business solution provider.com. On the top right there, there is a jobs link. Click on that. And it'll start you in the process to be able to be talking to our specialists and to prepare for training so we can help out these small business owners. Well, Joel, thank you very much for taking the time to be with us today. We wish you every success in your effort to hire a lot of people in Utah. Absolutely. And thank you, um, Devin, for everything you do for the community. It's amazing. Now, thank you. Now, let's do some good. I'm Devin Thorpe. For the last eight years, I've been working full-time to eradicate extreme poverty, improve global health, and fight climate change. I've concluded that the best way for me to continue my work is to run for Congress to represent the people of Utah's third district. In Utah, we have common shared values. Those things unite us. I believe passionately in our ability to come together, and I believe that working together, we can solve Utah's problems. I'm Devin Thorpe. I'm a Democrat. I'm running to represent the people of Utah's third district. I'm Devin Thorpe, a candidate for Congress, and I approved this message.